Welcome to the channel, Cooking with Chef Buka. Please don't forget, subscribe, share, like, tell a friend to tell a friend. Let's get into it. All right, looking at it now. Mm -hmm. Nice, lovely. What we're gonna do now, we're gonna set up because we're gonna make some fry bread fruit. Today, we're gonna show you how we do it. Is what we, everything is doing from scratch. So you guys can know this roast the bread fruit. Take a look about half an hour to 35 minutes to get ready. If you want to do it quick, you know what I'm saying? We do slow roast, nice and lovely. You know what I'm saying? Look at this one right here. It's ripe, you know? Yeah, not fully ripe, but when we say ripe, we mean like turn. I don't think you guys use the terms, but yeah, look at that over there. Nice. So we're going to roast that, all right? And then we're going to fry it when we come back. So yeah, we are peel our breadfruit right now. That's what we're going to use, you know, to make a plate. Nice, eh? Mm-hmm. Lovely. See that? Nice. As we say, we're doing it outdoors, not indoors. I want to kind of get that authentic kind of feel of when we're doing it outside all the time. And uh, we're not inside doing anything, you know? Yeah, that's what we're doing. You know, all day, every day. You know, 10 pack a professional. You know, know what he's doing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Straight, you know? Yes. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Nice. So, when we come back, we're going to get into the next segment of it, yeah? Yeah. Sure. All right, so, that's all we do. We cut the art of it, out of it, you know? Yeah, cut the art out of it. They call it the art, I don't know why they call it the art, but we all call it the art. So yeah, as we talked before that we're going to do some fried bread fruit in this episode. Fried bread fruit, let's get it right, my list tongue is in the way. So what we're going to do now, we're going to get into that segment. So normally what I do, I have a little bit of salt. You can see my salt right here, you know. And I got two different types of breadfruit here. I want to explain them to you so you guys kind of know when they get the best breadfruit or when they get the second class breadfruit. Breadfruit is breadfruit, but some is better than some. So this breadfruit here is a yellow art. Always come yellow. They call them yellow art. And this is a regular breadfruit right here, which is it's still nice, but this one is more like on the sweet side and the creamy and the nice side. So if you can get this one with the yellow art, take it over this one. But if you don't have no choice, breadfruit is breadfruit. So what I want to do right now, I want to cut them up and we're going to fry them, you know? So I want to cut them and I'm going to try to cut them. Not too thin, but perfectly so, you know? That's, that's supposed to be good because you still want it to be crispy, but you still want to have a little bit of food in it to eat and it doesn't taste like a banana chips, you know? Yeah, so let's slice them like that. They're nice. Trust me, when you when you fry them, they're nice. Yeah, what I normally do is like, or, or we really come about fry breadfruit in Jamaica is like, when we roast some breadfruit and we have extra leave in the morning, we just slice them and fry them and eat them for breakfast. Just like fry planting, like, you know, it's, it's a little bit of chemistry to it that you gotta find it, so we won't make it happen. So this one is the same thing, you wanna deal with it the same way. You know, slice it. And you can see how this one sliced different from the other one, you know? Very yellow art. When we say yellow art, we mean yellow art. We're gonna take this little piece off it. You know, nice, this little piece off it as well. A little bit of art or whatever they call it, still in there. And if you slice it and it's breaking up on you, that's okay. Because you're gonna eat it, break up as well. Like this piece is breaking. I'm going to slice then if we break off, we're going to fry it just like that. See that? Break off, so that's good. You know, that's nice. So what we're going to do now, we're going to get into the pot and we're going to start frying them when we come back in 30 seconds. But watch this. So season it with a little bit of salt like that before you put it into the pot and you can touch it with a little bit of salt when it comes out of the pot as well. Alright? VIP style. 
So yeah, we're gonna get in to put them in the pot now. So the oil that I have in here, it's vegetable and olive oil, it's 90, 10. So the olive oil is 10 and the vegetable oil is 90. It's, it's, a, it's a mixed blend. You know, normally I get it in the store. So a little bit of salt on it as always, drop it in the pot. You can put your flames in medium for it to go, you know. If you have a bigger frying pan, it's good as well to put it in there. But I'm just using this one right now because this is what I have. Look a bit of salt on it. So you need that, you know, salt on it to get a kind of banana chip. Tastes like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, just like that. So, just want to wait on it to do what it does. Get that golden brown color. Then we want to show you what's happening. VIP style, you know? Yeah, I was gonna see if not this will be with a salt and that's it. Not everybody like a lot of salt on there. You can do yours without salt as well. And if you get like a they call it a turn or a half ripe bear fruit, that's nice to fry. You know what I'm saying? Because it's gonna have extra sweetness inside that because it's ripe, you know? Yeah. So when we come back, we're gonna get into it. I'll show you the color that we want you to get when you try to sear it off as well. Alright? All right, so we're going to check it out. I'm going to show you the difference between the yellow art and the regular. You know what I'm saying? All right, you see the color and, and the yellow art? This is the yellow art. We really want you to see that because it's necessary for you to see what's going on. I know we're going to flip over to the regular one. You see the difference between? Because this one has a little bit more sugar in there than the regular one. So you get a more perfect sear on that one. But trust me, both of them taste the same. If you like breadfruit, but if you don't like breadfruit, you will tend to want to have the yellow art instead of the regular one. You know what I'm so what we're gonna do, we're gonna just let this sear a little bit more. Do what it do. We're gonna finish here up all this. So you guys see what we're doing, and then we wanna eat a piece of salt and pepper. We're ready to go. So yeah, both side looking nice and lovely. But what I normally do with this because of the excess grease, I always put in a piece of napkin. You don't have to, but I like to put in a piece of napkin. So the excess grease can go onto the napkin instead of you consuming all the grease, you know? So that's why I normally do it. Yeah. Very full. Nice. More running water for this one. Like, no joke. Can't wait to have some right now. So we're just gonna put the rest in here. Yeah. They take their time to what it do. And you probably wonder why I'm not salting these ones. We already salted already, so don't forget that part of it, okay? Yeah. Let's yeah, see if I can get everything in here so I don't need to be worried about, you know? Frying it again, so we're gonna try to put everything on the board in here and let it fry so that's what we want we're gonna wait on this to be you know nice and beautiful as this one and then we're gonna put some together let you see what a presentation look like if we can get a presentation out of it because you know we like to make things look good so we're gonna try our best to set it up for you guys all right when we come back so you see if you don't pay attention this is what happened especially the yellow art one they burn real easily but that's the way I like mine, you know, to kind of have that kind of brown, you know. You got to turn them over, you got to make sure you pay attention to it. Yes, they won't get burned and you're going to lose your breadfruit. All these fried breadfruit, we eat them like some scrambled egg or, you know what I'm saying, some ackee and sausage and fried breadfruit in the morning. Or you can just eat them just like that. Normally I eat them just like that. With some avocado in Jamaica we call them pear. You know you can eat it just like that too. You know? Or you can eat you some curry chicken, whatever you feel like, or some color loop. You know what I'm saying? Color loop and fiber fruit. Color loop selfish and fiber fruit. Whatever you like to, you know, to blend it with. It go well with anything. This is bread fruit. You know? It's just like bread, like what bread can go with anything. Same way it works. So when we come up, we're gonna put a plate together. I'm saying that you see what plate look like. You know what I'm saying? But trust me, 
if you can have breadfruit, you want to have this. It's really nice. The texture is good. You know what I'm saying? When it roasts, when it fry, when it's boiled. Even when you make like a breadfruit bread or you make like a breadfruit juice with the ripe one. We're going to get into that one of these days. Show you, you know what I'm saying? The way you can utilize this in a lot of different ways. So yeah, fry breadfruit. Simple, easy. The hardest part is the roast of breadfruit. You know what I'm saying? Little bit of garnish on it. You know what I'm saying? But fried red fruit is nice, good to go, and have it any time of the day. You know what I'm saying? This is one of my favorite, like, pastime meal. I always make my mom roast some red fruit. And when she roasts it, that she always try to leave one for me in the morning. You know what I'm saying? Fried red fruit. All day, every day. Don't forget, hit the notification bell. Tell a friend to tell a friend. You know what I'm saying? We appreciate you guys sticking with us. Too thick and thin. Enough love and respect. Peace. That's the end of the video. Don't forget, like, share, hit the notification bell. Tell a friend, tell a friend. Peace.